In just under a month, two foreign visitors on the coastal island of Lamu have been abducted with one losing her life, incidents which have greatly caused panic amongst sector players. Tourism Minister Najib Balala, however, sought to downplay the impact of the events and accused tour operators of blowing them out of proportion to the detriment of the country's image as a tourist destination. Last night, almost midnight, I was called and I saw breaking news from Sky News saying that mass, massive evacuation is taking place on Manda Island. I was on top of it, getting to know what is happening, and all is false. The government, however, owned up to not acting fast enough to contain the situation when the first incident at Kiwayo Safari Hotel took place, claiming the life of a British lady and consequent abduction of the husband. The first incident was unfortunate, and yes, it went off hand. We couldn't catch up. The second incident took place, but this time, no incidents will take place. But if we in the industry create a panic, and we raise that panic instead of channeling, even if there's an information, channel it correctly, then we know how to do the damage control in terms of the media and what is happening. At the same time, fishermen within the island have been barred from deep sea fishing, especially in the night as security measures are being implemented. A move that has not gone down well with most of them who came out protesting. Leo ikiwa kafita endelea iwe mwisho ni saa kuminambili. Je hawa wavuvi wana kuenda kujawishi huko nje na jawishi na kuenda na kuenda chukua siku tatu. Watafanya kazi gani? Hiyo ni sasa wa serikali kuchukua pwezen kuye kandani ya maji kuwa watu wote. Zawadi mdibo, KTN Business Today.